summer equinox and I just love to celebrate the official start of every season. I love to try to brainstorm ways of making it special and just sort of kick off the new season on the right foot. So we had some big plans today. Unfortunately, we had to do a little switch around and adjust some things because we woke up. I first woke up around probably 5 a.m. It was just really, really thundering quite loudly. And then our bedroom would keep lighting up with the lightning. So it was pretty intense this morning. And then I actually had plans with my friend Liz. We were going to wake up early and go swim in the springs and just start our day in the sunshine. But clearly that didn't happen, but it was still really nice. We got together and had some coffee, had some breakfast, had some juice. So that was lovely. Definitely a coffee shop kind of morning and not a springs type of morning. It was honestly pretty chilly outside too, which is out of character for this time of year in Florida. So we didn't get to go to the springs, but we'll do that soon. But thankfully the rest of our plans pretty much we're able to still do, hopefully. So today I actually, um, after we had our morning together, I went to the craft store because our little library out front, I wanna give it a summer makeover, a summer overlay. I was thinking, oh, I'm so excited to decorate the little library for the fall season, put little pumpkins, and a library in general just bodes so well for autumn, in my opinion. It just gives that cozy ambiance. But then I was thinking, why don't I do a little overlay for summer as well? Add some seashells, add some mermaid elements. I don't know, I wanted to see what the craft store had and see what we could find. So let me give you a haul. They had a lot of good finds actually. Originally I was thinking that I would get a maybe seashell um, little knob, switch out the butterfly knob we have and switch it with a seashell or a sunshine, but they didn't really have any that I loved of the sunshines or the seashells for that matter. They did have this um, very detailed seashell one that I thought about, but I wasn't completely sold. But we went with this mermaid. Look how cute, it's so fun. So hopefully this will fit nicely on the handle and we can use that. And then for the roof, I have some Spanish moss on it right now, but I am gonna try to switch it out with this decorative net. It sort of looks marine and ocean-like, like it would be used on some kind of pirate ship or whatnot. So we'll try to put this on top of the aluminum roof we have, which the Spanish moss, it's tricky for that to be secure even because it is so windy here, especially when it storms. So we'll see, hopefully we can get this settled. And then I also got some seashells. They had a plethora of seashells. So I got this mix different shells that we can play around with and i'm also thinking of maybe making a diy summer wreath for the front door so we'll see and then also these starfish really cute and then another great place for me to check out for um when we were first adding embellishments to the little library the dollhouse section of the craft store was really helpful so I looked in there again today and they had these really cute tiny mirrors and my vision is to put these inside of the little library. So hopefully that'll work out. And then we have these, um, this shell necklace, which I was thinking I can just trim it if need be and kind of put it around the edge of the netting maybe. And then we have these beads. There are so many pretty beads but I picked out these sort of um, pearly blue ones because I just thought they looked mermaid ocean-like. And then while I was browsing around, I also found this frame that I really love. It's a scalloped frame. 
and I just think it's adorable. I'm a sucker for scalloped edging. I think it's so cute. Also, I'll link these reusable pink bags. I love them. The reusable bags I currently have, well, before I ordered those, they were like ripping at the seams. I've used them so much, which I'm glad I remember, but now I'm even remembering more because these are very cute. Okay, and then I also went to the thrift store. I had stuff to drop off, but I also wanted to look at the book section to see if there were any summer inspired reads that I could put within the library. And you know, we didn't find too many, unfortunately. I specifically wanted kids books because we barely ever have kids books in the library. And sometimes I'll look out the window and see kids looking in it and there's like nothing for them. So it made me sad, but I picked up this one. It's Seymour, the very forgetful porpoise. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. Also, everything I got from the thrift store was $4, which it seemed like a lot for four dollars and then i also got this a child's glacier bay it was kind of like i was browsing through this one i'm not totally sure what it's about um because it's okay it's for young readers but it's pretty dense for young readers but i guess it's more like preteen but it looks interesting and i don't know it just um seemed ocean like so we have that and then Oh, this one's funny. So this one's more of a silly book, but it just made me giggle and I wanted to pick it up because I just thought it was funny. It's the fun book, 102 Ways for Girls to Have Some. <laughs> okay, let me just flip to some of them. Okay, here's one. Keep a running list of all the things that make you laugh out loud. Think of them in inappropriate situations, such as religious ceremonies and uptight business meetings. <laughs> Splurge on a one pair of expensive sunglasses. Tie a silk scarf around your head. Beg, borrow, or steal a convertible. Yank down the top and go. <laughs> like they're just funny. And there was one that was like, spend the whole afternoon perfecting your wink I'm like oh my gosh it's just really making me laugh so i wanted to pull this out on a girls night for just some entertainment just reading this book and then i found another kids book that this one's pretty precious it's called peas on earth very very cute cute illustrations i haven't read through the whole thing but it's very adorable look at the ending uh-oh Maybe that's why it was at Goodwill because it's broken, but still cute. And then the last thing I picked up is this blanket. It is so soft and this was absolutely handmade. It's such great, great, great quality. Brandon just walked down the stairs. Um, I also love the color for summertime and just picnics and you know, I might just keep it in the car too for a picnic blanket on the go but that's the end of the haul another thing i want to do today is make some watermelon popsicles and then we also are getting together with friends tonight and i want to make a watermelon cake i'll explain more later but i'm going to go check out the library it's pretty wet right now because it's been on and off raining so i don't know if we'll end up doing the library decor today or tomorrow but i'm really excited about that sunshine came out to join us so i just went out to the little library to just wipe it down clean it up and then i also wanted to check and make sure that the mermaid um knob that we purchased would fit where the butterfly knob currently is because just eyeballing it it did seem a little bit thicker of a width than we currently have drilled in that little door so i wanted to check and unfortunately it is too big so it didn't Fit. and I've been trying to trouble tr troubleshoot and try to figure out like I don't want to drill a bigger hole I don't think that's a good idea because I feel like this is the other hook is more standard than this one is so when I want to continue to switch it out and rotate it I don't want to have too big of a hole because that'll make it even more complicated so I'm gonna return this and I did find a shell knob that I think will fit it's frustrating though because i'm looking at all of the product um dimensions and there's not it tells you how long the screw is but not how what the diameter is so i really can't confirm until it arrives but worst case i'll just return it and we'll go from there but oh i'm so excited to decorate it soon
time for us to try our hand at making a watermelon cake. I've been seeing this a lot online and I think it's so fun and perfect for the first day of summer. So we're meeting friends tonight at the pool and I feel like this will be just such a refreshing treat. So essentially how I believe you go about this is you cut the watermelon into two big parts and try to sort of mimic a, a tiered cake. So. I plan to cut it in half, but I'm going to have a little bit more room on this side so that the bottom layer will be larger and then a little less room on this side so the top layer will look more petite. And then we're going to try to shape that into a circular shape and then we're going to garnish with our fruit. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hopeful. And I actually, let me show you, I have a whole thing. It's not completely full still, but I already have some watermelon already cut up. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best tasting watermelon. It's still good, but it's not like, ooh, that's so sweet, perfectly ripe and delicious watermelon. So we haven't been eating it as quickly. I really hope this one tastes really nice. But for that watermelon I have already cut up, I think I'm gonna make some popsicles with some lemon juice, sugar, watermelon. And for the rest of it, I think I'm just gonna blend it up so we have watermelon juice to sip on, but then also add into smoothies. Got a lot of watermelon in this house right now. Unfortunately, we did not get a good watermelon. It still looks cute. It actually looks more red on camera than it does in real life. For reference, this is the watermelon I just cut. It's very pink and pale, and this is the watermelon we had before. A lot more deep of a red color. So that's kind of a bummer, but hopefully when we get it decorated with some fruit, that'll add more life and color to it, and I think we can still make it cute. Here's our finished watermelon cake. It's cute, it turned out very cute. I am bummed about our centerpiece, our core watermelon, but it still looks very fun, very summery, and just a fun idea for any summer gathering. And I did add some of the more ruby red watermelon along the sides, so I think that'll be a good option. And I need to remember to bring something to cut the center 
watermelon with. I need to source more components, but another little project I wanna do is a little gallery. Hello, sir, can I help you? <laughs> is a little gallery um, moment above our stove top. I hang stuff here for different holidays, but I just kind of want like a evergreen situation where we have little frames. So that's what I want to do with this one, but I want to add a couple more little ones, maybe like one here, one here. We have to play around with it. Come into our bedroom and this little one is all tucked in my spot. It's so cute and cozy. So got home probably like 30 minutes ago. Took a nice warm shower. I'm so glad we ended up swimming. It wasn't looking good. Basically we were planning on meeting up the pool like I said earlier. But then it looks like a, a rainstorm was rolling in, so we didn't meet at the pool. We just played games. We played Hues and Cues, which this game is so fun. I only recently played it um, probably like a month ago, but it's a really fun game. So we played that for a little, and then we went for our night swim, which was so refreshing under the moon. It's just such a taste of nostalgia in summer so i'm glad we ended up doing that and the hot shower felt so nice so now i'm about to cozy up and read before bed i'm still reading happy place by emily henry it is taking me so long i'm starting to get a little bit more into it but i just feel like it's not the trope for me but i don't know i'm still hopeful that i'll get more invested and end up really liking it i'm only like halfway through so i have a long way to go so we'll see i'll keep you updated but i really don't have so many plans this weekend so i'm thinking i will definitely finish this book i have to it's been too long and then we also have book club on wednesday of next week so i want to start our book club book as well so lots of reading to do but i will check in with you soon when we finally get to give our little library a makeover It looks a little 
uneven though. Is these. that the butterfly that was yeah. just a little? The bees look Maybe because I was holding one like all morning. The bees look a little smaller on that side. That looks good. It's a little uneven looking on the camera, but if you say so. I mean, it looks good in person. This is my project shirt. I wear it when I'm doing projects. That's why it has tape on it. See, this has a little more the prep work she does yeah. to get. But I'm going to put a starfish right here. So that kind of evens it out, right? Uh -huh. Ooh, that would be so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, it's been recording for 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Do you decorate it every season? We just started it in January, so it's still kind of So did you do like um, a New Year's or a Christmas or something? You're going to need to edit a lot. <laughs> Okay, that that starfish really tied it together, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it made it so look now we're gonna add shells, but I'm wondering, can you think of an you idea to incorporate this? I like that and that. Because I have a bunch of shells that I'm gonna glue. Wait, maybe you could do clever, like clever. On this area. Yeah, we do have to open it. And since the thing is, I don't want to glue directly on here, so we can come back. Uh, yeah, looks a lot better. makeover was a success I ended up ordering the seashell knob and it fit really nicely at first I wasn't sure it was kind of a tight squeeze but then I was able to get it all settled and it worked out and it's just so cute we actually had a big rainstorm last night so I was unsure how the seashells would stay because I added a little bit of super glue to each one and it's attached to the net but I really wasn't sure how secure that would be and I'm sure I'll need to touch it up here and there as time goes by but it it held up last night really well even with the storm so that's really encouraging and I'm so excited to enjoy it throughout the rest of the season and also already brainstorming how we're going to decorate it for fall. Palmer wanted to say hello to you. He is just wanting all the attention right now but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and always being so encouraging and kind. I really appreciate you so much and I'm excited to see you next.